Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL number 45 round of 64 match. We started with a quick snap between Nalysius and his Nurgle and Jackastai and his Underworld. So Nalysius has got a pretty good Nurgle team here, probably one of the best teams in the cup, right? Two two Claw Pommers, not actually full Claw Pommers, one doesn't have block, one, one is a full one. Um... Claw Mighty, he doesn't have block, but he's got block guard, he's got block claw mighty, like, you know, block guard, pretty, pretty nice. I kind of like that, I kind of like, a bit different with Nurgle Warriors, actually, but with Chaos Warriors. I always like two block guard and two killery types. So I like that, he gets the guard Nurgle as well, one, uh, the guard beast of Nurgle as well, kills a guy. Dirty player, edge four carriers, this is, this is definitely one of the better teams in the cup. Um, versus an absolutely <laughs> shite <laughs> well, it's not. It's not right. It's min max to death. Um, this is Yak's calling card in CCL. He always min maxes Claw Pom and beats up new players, and uh, you know that's a really good noble thing to do, isn't it? You know, make make people make people never want to play Blood Bowl again is only doing them a favour in the long run. Um, and he's got lots of he's got lots of inducements. He's got Glad Smash Rip. He's got a Chef that you can't see that stole two re rolls this half. He's got a babe and he's got a wizard. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, River Dog, yeah. <laughs> no, that's true, Squirrel. <laughs> you know, but look, this isn't this isn't a war between of, of who who is the best better cast as I thought. I thought both casts were very enjoyable. I watched I watched both casts last night and I watched Gadenik do a cast of it because he hadn't seen it, so he uh, so he watched it and Gadenik did like a cast of the replay, so there's multiple angles you can watch it from if you wanna watch it. It was pretty good like after playing it and you know, thinking about my moves afterwards. Uh, Nick identified my main weakness. And I wondered if I should have just carried on the strength 5 the whole game, to be honest, because, uh, you know, at least if the wizard is Rick's only chance, at least he only gets one chance, right? Whereas if I'm, if I'm carrying on anybody with other than the strength 5, he gets multiple chances. So I'm, I'm, I wondered if I should have just carried on the strength 5 the whole game. All right, so he's, got, he's got a really good player, hasn't he? Horns, Claw Mighty. Doesn't have panning on, though. But Claw Mighty can do work, can't it, sometimes? Hello Muppet, hello Red Hair, hello Chugs. Yeah, loads of people, that's like three today in chat, Muppet. There was two in Elliot and then two in Elliot's chat. And uh and then one here, so that that's like that's a lot of that's a lot of uh drop games for sure. Hemlock could have done, but I mean at least that's a harder chance. I mean, yeah, okay, that's true. Maybe, and maybe maybe that factored into my decision that he would have an extra chance with Hemlock other than the wizard, so yeah. But like, also getting your strength five guaranteed mighty blow hit isn't very good. But still, his hemlock chance is a lot worse than his his leaping chances versus a rookie high elf, isn't it? <laughs> you know, like the rookie high elf carry was asking for trouble against Kislev. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. So I mean, huge favorite here in Elysius, even with one reroll. Like he's just got to play super conservative because at the end of the day. The underworld can got a lot. Sure, Muppet, sure. There the space is open. You can fill my slot. <laughs> Good afternoon. Evening. I don't know if it's evening yet. Does it count as evening? It'll be evening somewhere, Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What? Look at this, we've got we've got Muppet here in the booth. I'll, I'll make it life size. Give me a second. <laughs> not, not quite that small. There we go. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, it's not like I'm talking about a game. I mean, there's not a lot to talk about, right? Yak's got a like. Going to be trading blitzes until. Something happens. Yeah, he's trading a Claw Mighty Blitz for a Claw Pom Blitz, and all of his players are crap. And all of Nislissius' players are good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, it's tricky. But he has got the wizard, but I just it's really hard, isn't it? Because he just doesn't have responsive players. Like, okay, he's got goblins that can come in, but, like, there's no big hand, is there? 
He's yeah. not big hand. Like he probably needed a two heads big hand for the cup. It's as best as the uh, thrower, who does have two heads and. Uh, yeah, extra arms. Extra yeah. arms. That's the. Yeah, so he's like edge four basically, but it's it's not that exciting, is it? It's not. No. Yeah. It's not that exciting. If he was edge four. With two heads and extra arms, then he would be uh, well. He wouldn't have extra arms, then would he? He'd have big hand. Maybe, maybe even yeah, big hand instead of extra arms. Yeah. Do you ever consider? Yeah, probably. I, like big hand's pretty terrible, but when the only chance you've got to win a game <laughs> is yeah. to bolt the carrier <laughs> and then run through multiple tackle zones, <laughs> pick up the ball in tackle zones, probably, <laughs> and then <laughs> you know it's it's not good, is it? Maybe if it wasn't. Uh, such a strong coach, like he would have been carrying on his ball carrier, and the wizard would have actually done something. Yeah, but it's still like I just think there's nothing you can do. Like the team's so much better than his, and he 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 appled the uh, he appled the troll to keep him on the pitch. Uh, did he? Fair enough. Not really fair enough because he can st he can easily get two D. The problem is against claw pommers, he's he's blockless. He's actually one of the weaker targets. Like. And so. you don't need the guard, you've got horns, which can pretty much hit anyone. Yeah. Like, you still want him on the field, obviously, but it's just, yeah, it's yeah. just you can't protect him. Like, he has to be doing things, doesn't he? Like, you know, the claw, the, the horns claw guy, you can always, like, screen and... Oh, my God. <laughs> what a massive region. You can always screen the horns guy and protect him, whereas the fact that your, your troll is always going to be exposed, basically, and he's 75% knocked down, he, he's going to attract attention. And that's bad news for him. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't the best claw on it, but still would have been a horrible Kaz. Preferred Skitter than Glad? Yeah, I can see that. It's, it's, it's like the same kind of logic as... The Rick move versus me, isn't it? I can see Skitter. Like it's shit. <laughs> like Skitter's absolute shit. <laughs> same as. I mean, same it's still Hemlock. a gutter runner. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, same as Hemlock, he's pretty shit. But he gives you an extra angle, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a gutter runner, and yeah. he can he can he can come in and get the ball, and and he can he could he could dodge in and stab the ball and stuff, and like it would give him. Uh, Oh, he had two babes. No, he only had one babe. But um, yeah, prob probably. But you know, if he thinks his chance, like you know, he's on a clock, right? At the end of the day, he's on a clock. Like his play, he's gonna get out removed. He's trading. He's trading claw mighty hit blitzes for claw palm hits. Okay, he's got two reserves, but he's he's you know, you've got three. Got a you've got a dirty player. He's he's got fucking stunties. He's he's gonna get smashed. Like so, I, I don't like. That's why I don't like Glatt and why I prefer Skitter because he's gonna get smashed to bits, and he's got a yeah. limited window of opportunity to to to, to try and win. And like <laughs> Glatt's not blitzing because you've already got a Mike Brooker horns guy no, who's blitzing every turn. Exactly, yeah. Until yeah. I'm just, victorious, Glatt just seems and I will defend. excessive. Like. I will defend. Thank you very much. I've got to, got to open the thing now. Yeah, like Glart is Glart, and he's also got a Claw Mighty as well, Strength Three, right? So yeah, Glart is, and he's also got Claw on his troll. So oh my god, he just GFI'd and cast himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. What an idiot! <laughs> <Don't>... <laughs> uh, MNG as well. Yep. Yeah, going to the uh, going to the Rick Reckless School of. <laughs> rolling GFIs with important players. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Thank you very much, GFI, for staying fantastic for three whole years. Or oh, nine, nine uh, beaver pregnancies, is, is it's more commonly referred to. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> oh, So yeah, I can I can see the point of the apple. Like I I don't agree with it either, but I can, I can see the I can see his mindset. Just because it's so easy, it's just because it's so easy to remove the, the troll. That's the problem, isn't it? Like he's so hittable, he's always going to be in the mix. He's always going to be hittable, and, and you know, look look at all the guard. You can easily get two D on him, and uh, seventy five percent. Yeah, so desperate to protect the blitzer, he killed the blitzer. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. And then he didn't even blitz that blitz, he blitz Glart, Glart even. Yeah. So well. maybe Glart was a good 
pick. <laughs> no, I mean, it was just positional blitz, yeah. wasn't it, to go forward? Yeah. Fireball here. No. Do you know what? I don't think the fireball was good there, but... <laughs> Beast stupid. You could fireball these, oh, or yeah. you could bolt him. You've got a, you know, you've got you've got goblins there. There, what's this guy? That's a lino. You've got the I don't know blitz. You, I don't think you'll get a better chance because after this, he's up field, and you can't score off the wizard. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have minded a wizard there. Yeah, okay, it sucks that you've got like these two stunned, and that you've just lost your. I don't know, how, and obviously on the replay you can't tell how long he thought about it. Yeah. But I think he should have at least thought about it, because what I like is is when the beast goes... Because like eventually the beast's going to go stupid, and that's when you've got to take the charge. Because, you know, like if this beast isn't stupid, two of the scatters are just horrendous for you. <laughs> you know, like and, and like it's just hard to, to move around and everything. So I, I, I against Nurgle, if I've got a wizard, I do try to wait until the beast goes stupid, and then, you know, or, or just like any elf team, if you're going to try and go in and sack the ball, try to wait for the beast to go stupid, and then hopefully it goes stupid late in the turn and leaves him a bit exposed or whatever like obviously if it happens and they play well they then cover everywhere else so that they are tight but often they don't and they will be a bit more exposed and even if they can it's, they, it's still they're still down to play it right so this could have been the wizard turn he did a good thing for sure yeah yeah the two stuns are really bad but it was possible uh, the, again as Muppet says it's like are you going to get a better chance <laughs> it's it's tough. Like, you want to use the wizard and get the touchdown, like, in the best possible case. And I don't think you're getting the touchdown when he moves up next turn. Yeah, exactly. And when he just secures the drive next turn as, as well, isn't it? Like, that's the thing. Yeah. It's not It's not even just the moving up. It's the fact that the beast, the beast will, will be, yeah, the beast will be most back. likely be back in action. Yeah. And he might, he might cast another player. <laughs> and... Uh... Ooh, Although the there's follow. the dub skulls. There's the dub skulls, though. Oh, baby. That is exciting. The, the follow on the pit as well means the beast doesn't have a friend. Oh, God, yeah. <gasps> you rolled a one anyway, but yeah. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Wow, this is a nightmare turn so Maybe. Far. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Jack just knew he was going to roll worse dice than. Yeah. Um, should he have. Blitz the oh, the guy at the back nah because he's got to get in front and try and stop him scoring. Wow, Wandy on the gobble. That's outrageous, isn't it? You got to hit the got to hit the troll first. Do you? Oh no, because that it would have only been one D. I was thinking yeah. he had two because that. So yeah, one D on him to get two D on him. If he took guard and his boar carrier, then maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he dodged. Jesus. Yikes! And there's the bolt. You can pause. So that, I guess the the beast is still stupid. Yeah. But the, there's just a bit more in the way now, isn't there? Like you know, it, all this stuff's kind of trapped. I think this is worse than last turn. And I think it's the yeah, point I think the recovery is much worse. Yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. worse to the point where I wouldn't have done it. But it, it might be like my game against Sindane in in the cup a few a few seasons back when. I had a really good turn to use the wizard, and I didn't use it because I thought I could get the ball without using the wizard, which is incredibly stupidly greedy, obviously, in retrospect. And then next turn, it wasn't a good chance for the wizard, but I thought, do you know what I mean? Like, my equities, my equity is vanishing. And, <laughs> and okay, I've missed I made my opportunity. Them, yeah, I've missed my opportunity, so I have to go for this opportunity, even though it's not as good. You know, like, it's still better than just not using it and losing. So... You know, any chance is better than no chance, isn't it? So maybe that's what Yaks, what Yaks thought there. Hello, Odont. Oh, and then he blitzes somebody irrelevant. <laughs> that's not how you get the ball, Yak. <laughs> he's just trusting in two heads or some shit. He, he bolted. He bolted and then did that. Oh, God, yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, but I, that, that could be that could be it. He could he could think like you know it's slipping away and he's just got to do. It. Oh my god, <laughs> the stupid! <laughs> but this oh is... yeah, the beast the beast will definitely be ready next turn. Don't you worry. Yeah, 
I mean, you can see the point of going for the wizard as well, right? Out of re yeah. out of re rolls, two turns left. Make him roll dice. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's it's not high odds, is it? It's certainly not a high odds player. But then he's not going to get high odds players, right? I, you know, Rick could yeah. get high high odds players against me with an edge five. <laughs> an Edge 5 Leaper and, like, multiple Edge 4s and wrestling and stuff. He, he, like, Yak just can't get good players with these teams. He could have completely diced him, you know, with millions of cars with all of his claw players. Mm -hmm. Which is maybe that's why he chose Glart, right? You know, if he wins <coughs> the toss. He, but it's not that huge, is it? Be, but there is a there is a bit of a gaping hole, but it's it's not that gaping. <laughs> Troll dodge based wall, that's good. Cool. He's, got, he's got this guy, hasn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can get at least a one D. Can he try and gobble for the assist? Cancel this one. Ooh. Yeah, there is nothing worse than thinking you should have bolted last turn. But you know, at least if you recognise that you should have bolted last turn, bolting this turn, you know, could be your last chance. You've still got to bolt this turn, haven't you? Even if it was wrong. There we go. Gets the 2D on the ball. AV break and he might stop it. Oh, I would have liked the follow-up. I guess he's got dodging two heads, hasn't he? So He's going for it. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll see if he did in one at a time. No, he still went for it. Oh. Yeah, you might as well. Like you've got to do it. If if you're not, if you don't pick up the ball, he just walks it in, doesn't he? So you. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have sidestep or anything, so he can't like. Yeah. Yeah, you've you've just yeah. you've just got to, and the fact that he's got no rerolls, you know, like even if you make him two D him, you know, like he, yeah. There you go. Look, no pal there. So if if he'd had the ball, he would have had to two D him again, <laughs> and then uh, and he might not have got him. He might not have got the ball then. So yeah, um, I think he had no. to go for it. Yeah, I guess. And no tackle about, so... Mm. That was a scary GFI at the end. It was, yeah. <laughs> GFI. Oh, <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> Flip me, guys. What a terrible combo to have in chat. Mmm. Absolutely toxic. <laughs> the sheer toxicity of chat. I should, I should, I should clamp down on it. You know, as people have said, if you know, you can't just blame chat, can you? It's your channel. You should, you should just not allow toxic toxicity to prosper. Wouldn't Elliot wouldn't stand for it. He'd ban anyone who said the match was over. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So yeah, bit bit scary. One, it is a bit scary being reduced to one reroll. <laughs> now we have one for the one turn. Yeah, and he's gonna go the grid for the yeah. The one turn is gonna come from a, a goblin toss rather than skitter. I, I do feel like oh. skitter would have been much better, but maybe maybe that was his assessment. Yak, you know, maybe he thinks if he's got claw mighty. Two claw, well, three claw mighties, and then the claw. If he wins the toss, and he can just make, you know, some headway into the Nurgle team, maybe he can get on top of them, and maybe he can win that win. And maybe as he thought the skitter rolling dice part was too low odds, but I think, I think he should have definitely gone skitter rather than that. Yeah, especially for like one turns, so much better than a goblin throw. Yeah, and you still get to try both anyway, don't you? Like that's the yeah. beauty of it. It's it's sick. You just uh, you set up for a one turn, and then. Oh, it's I can't. I, you know, I've, I've rolled a power. Let's just hand off to a gobble then, if I can. And you can see what your opponent does, like if he defends the, for the row or the uh, skitter one turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't. You can't defend them both. Can you? Ah, well, I guess you're gonna lose them all then, Nolly. But on defense, it's not as bad, right? Because you don't have the critical fails on defense. Where and, and and like you're also expected to be scored on on defense to an extent, right? Like obviously not so much against underworld, but offense without rerolls is terrifying because you can lose the ball. 
And then if you lose the ball and get turned over and go 1-0 down, you've lost. <laughs> Almost certainly. Whereas if your opponent scores on his drive. And obviously with overtime as well, it's different, but still. Yeah, he did get to just hit again, which is nice. And has he got the handoff here? He does. Oh! Oh. Yeah, I think Yak does like the bang stuff as well, but I think he should have gone skidder, yeah, for sure. Not stupid, there's a chance. He might hit his own player here, though. He's got to aim at his own <laughs> player. So that, I guess uh, that's a weird thing about clearing tackles, is you can still hit your own player. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he got the claw mighty hit, so it's, it's a worthwhile trade-off, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, three. There we go. There was a bit of a spoiler from Lonnie, but yeah, there you go. All the re-rolls gone. And then... Oh, um, that's amazing for overtime. It is, yeah. Yeah. Kekwadi is, uh, is, you know, so now this become does become like a bit of a terrifying defense. And also, it does mean that Yak can bang it in early as well, right? Because Nurgle are pretty slow. They've got no re-rolls. So you don't have to start until turn eight. Maybe you can score turn six and then, you know, maybe he's trying to defend three turns. Like, it's, it's kind of possible. So, yeah, this is obviously... Pretty bad not having any rerolls. <laughs> it's pretty flipping bad. I mean, there's nothing else as well, right? Oh, done. He's he's already got Glart, a wizard, a babe. Like, what else is gonna take? Like, he's so far down. I mean, uh, you know, stars can just get like, especially Glart can just get banged out by one of the claw bombers. And suddenly, so that's all your inducements, and you've got nothing left, or? Clark gets removed, then your wizard fails, and then you're like, oh, I guess I don't have inducements anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so I think Chef is fine. Assistant and cheerleader, yeah, fair enough. Like, especially with this team, you're just looking for the high roll stuff. Like, you don't have anything else. No, not really. Not against this team anyway, like obviously against yeah. some teams you could have some advantages, but here <laughs> he's just not because he's got three claw mighties. Well, guess what? He's got two claw mighties and two claw palms. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got all of his men are stronger than you. I guess you've got a bit more speed. I mean, what would he do? And, and we can re-roll anything, including animus. Uh, what is it? Yeah, Foul pins. Yeah. I mean, like, you're okay, goblins are move move six, and you know, but they're just so weak, aren't they? Like, I would, I would, I would want to be in the Lysias' spot every day of the week in this matchup. <laughs> you know, like there would be no real fear. The, the fear, what about I guess, in, is uh, you can't get in guys. In twenty twenty, yeah. you want to be the uh, underworld. Oh god! In twenty twenty, you get you get Morg, don't you, on your team, which is uh, <laughs> which that that becomes an amazing inducement. You'd get Morg and uh, Morg and Hackman, wouldn't you? Oh god! Yeah. So then, all of a sudden, oh. you, your inducements are incredible in twenty twenty. So he's making it easier to get up a pitch, at least with these removals. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Two removals. Oh, there's one. And that, oh. that pile on. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. He took he took the both down. Oh, he took the both down. Oh, he hasn't got... It, was, it wasn't a pile on, it was a both down. But, oh, but it was a free dice. He had a uh, defender stumbles. I think it was a misclick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Oops. <forgot. laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a bit of a mistake, and now there's a gaping hole. There, uh, now there is an absolute gaping hole. Well, not yet. <laughs> you can say if it's right or wrong. <laughs> got a removal. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear! Oh wow! Roll rolling the extra two plus. Just so he can get an extra one on the foul, I guess. Yes, yeah. I mean, that was the obvious answer, obviously. Is you, why would you 
blitz with this one instead of this one. <laughs> so that <laughs> it wasn't obvious, but it was still funny. <laughs> yeah. You can't stop me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like that extra GFI, that he, the extra dodge, because he could have still fouled like in the middle. It's probably even, maybe he's even arguably better. If, oh God, he's not fouling. What's he? Wait, what? He's ex what? Oh, he's what? He's GFI oh, fouling. Why? To get one extra, one extra assist. He, he exposes two, two goblins to get hit to get one extra assist. I, I don't think that was worth it. Personally. And you're exposing the day player who suddenly is your like best player at the moment. Oh, it's enough. Yeah. It's just one player. Yeah, I like think it's a good, tra it's a good trade, but like, I don't know. But they have got it even with the uh, extra assist. <laughs> Uh, he rolled a seven, so it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And now the beast is in a great position on all of your players. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, if if he'd fouled, there would only been two, and then he'd have had two players somewhere else, and he wouldn't have taken this hit. Which okay, didn't kill him, but still. Still, he has less movement. He's on the floor. It's all matters. Yep. Now I can switch around over here. Suddenly, all the space you had from a misclick is gone. Yeah, no, right. Maybe you just blitz him. Mm -hmm. Oh. Poor old Yak rolling all these foul appearances. Oh, God, he followed. Any, any, uh... <laughs> <laughs> any any sympathy I had for him is gone. <laughs> he really needs that beast to go stupid again to do anything next time. Yeah, this is... This is... Oh. I mean, it's hard though, right? It's hard. To be fair, yeah, yeah. it's hard. He's, he's got all strength too. And, okay, he's got a horns guy, but, like, his team is crap. <laughs> And then having to make a 2 plus to make any blocks is, is pretty crap. I want to start thinking about keeping these rerolls for uh, overtime instead of blitzing like Nova Warriors. Yeah, like he should be using them when he needs to, obviously, because, you know, he's still got to get, like, overtime is best possible scenario for him, so he, he has to be willing to use them to do things, but, yes, he should be using them to do things, not just foul appearance things that aren't really that relevant. Like, he could have blitzed up Frenzy Dude, and suddenly he's a reroll up, maybe removes him. Yeah. Hello, Flicky. He, yeah, does keep his team's crap on purpose, yeah. Yeah. But, like, it's obviously not good for Chalice. <laughs> for Chalice, you would definitely rather have a good team. I mean, maybe one day he'll get, like, a god draw and uh, he won't get put versus Nurgle and Chaos and <laughs> yeah, yeah, all these better teams. Yeah, he can still win. He can still win. Like, you know, he's probably, like, he's probably 20% or whatever to win this game, you know, like, overall or at the start of the game, whatever. Like, maybe, you know, but, like, it's hard then, isn't it, to win Chalice when you... <laughs> When you're, when you're probably at best 50% in any game, it, it, it is very difficult to win Chalice. I mean, this, this team probably isn't, you know, probably never going to win Chalice with a team like this. But who cares? He qualifies, he gets to play in it, and he gets to crush people with Min Max Underworld all season. As long as he's having fun, that's all the best. Yeah. I would have I would have taken a score any time I could Lehman Rust because it wouldn't be easy to score, and the fact that Nelisius is reduced to zero rerolls, his offensive drive isn't a, isn't like a gimme, so I would have just scored any chance I got. <laughs> yes, I would have been like I wouldn't have gone for a quick score, but I would have certainly scored any time I could. Which you might not even get the chance to do that. <laughs> To be fair, <laughs> there might not even be the chance to do that. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? He can blitz with Glatt to, to chain his other guy free and then take all this. This is pretty good. He might not go for it, though, I guess. He's going to go for the troll blitz. He's got less support mm. over here, though. 
The good thing is he doesn't have to foul appearance, which I guess he's, I guess he's sick of fucking failing. <laughs> I, I preferred, I prefer the following mark. These two, like even though okay, he gets hit, it makes your potato stronger. It's like he's just potatoing now. I don't know if he can get away actually. If he can get completely clear. I mean, if he can get he completely clear this side. Oh my god, he double one. Oh shit. His dice have been pretty awful as well. Oh my on, god, like, yeah. The important stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he he just needed he just needed one G if I had to get completely clear. Okay, yeah. This is this is good. I didn't I I just didn't register to me kind of how slow Nurgle Warriors are and how fast his guy was. But yeah, one, two, three, four GFI. G. Yeah, he could have only based him after one GFI. So yeah, that was appallingly bad luck. So yeah, that, that was actually a good play from Yak. I, I I did prefer going here just because you can get three guys up in support. But yeah, obviously if you spot that your movement, if you know your movement seven. <laughs> 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 and you know Nogal Warriors are movement four, then that's a pretty good one, isn't it? Just get out of range. I guess this is where the no support sucks. Yeah. But it was a one in 36, but, you know, yeah. that's about as much as you can hope for as Underworld against Nogal. I'm sure a lot of us would have done similar. Yeah, I, I, like, I like the move. I think it was definitely the right yeah. move. Just, uh... That's a good point. He's failed more with five heroes <laughs> than Qualius with no heroes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, now the lack of support is just horrendous. But you know, if he'd if he'd made that GFI he just gets tagged. And uh I need two pluses to score this turn. And he gives Melissa's three turns with no reroll, he can probably defend that. Well, Maybe not, not probably, not probably with five removals, but maybe can defend it. Another one. <laughs> He's using all the rerolls. Oh, here we go. Twat magnet again. And he gets the ball. He's got a chance. <laughs> he's gonna get served, but he's got a chance. Did he not GFI? <laughs> you GFI in, wouldn't you? Just yeah. To I, I guess if you GFI in, then he's got like, then he's got the, uh, all the extra oh. hits, right? He's got all the extra yeah. hits then. He gets powered anyway. Yeah. Maybe the scatter out will be good for yet. Yeah. Comes back to his team. Yeah, yeah. So, so maybe, maybe Nelissia should have blitzed in. And then he would have got extra hits, like, you know, from the Warriors, and then it would have been, you know, had some control over the situation. But then, yeah. by the same token, it is dangerous here, like, because the, he would be in range, wouldn't he, with the players? I don't know what the right play is, though. I mean, if you ask Andy Devo, he would say, surf all day, every day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That's not necessarily correct, though. Oof. Yes, for the he fall. had to. I mean, he's trying to dodge off tents and it's working. Yeah. I don't know what he was going to do though, just punch. Right. Yeah, because he didn't the... blitz. I can't handle. If he had, if if this player had, uh, had what's it called? Uh, what's the what's the. Fumble Ruski, he could have dropped the ball there, and then the the goblin could have picked it up and scored. <laughs> yeah, Fumble Ruski does actually mean that you can that you can blitz and then drop the ball, which is like, you know, like. But obviously, then it means you've got to blitz with the Fumble Ruski player. It means you've got to have taken Fumble Ruski over yes. literally any other skill, and then you've got to blitz the ball with your guy with Fumble Ruski. So, like, it's very, like, it's just shit, basically. I think if Fumble Ruski was just a thing you could do, it would be pretty cool and, like, maybe maybe good for the game. I think they should have played it. I mean, obviously, they didn't play a test or think about any of these. <laughs> but maybe, like, uh, on a star player, like, the first time someone on your the star player's team blitzes the ball, he can pick it up and drop it or something. Yeah, he can, ha he can have Fumble Ruski. Yeah. <laughs> At the start of one of your turns, this this player gets from Borusky. Yeah, like one of your players gets from Borusky or something, like once again. Yeah. Ooh. 
Because there's like the there's the white dwarf, isn't there, that gives your players mighty blow and stuff, which is pretty good. So they, they've kind of like they've kind of got a mechanic almost like that. Yeah, yaks fucked here. Why did he dodge that way? He dodged into tentacles instead of like. Because he had to score, probably. Probably this guy was going to be the one to get in the oh. end zone. I thought he was going to pick up the ball. Uh, yeah, I guess he has to score. Yeah, probably. I stopped watching because I thought it was over. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I it's guess he good... probably had to go that way to score because there was a guy here, right? So he, he probably couldn't afford the lateral movement around. So he just had to go through the tents and then lob in the ball somehow. Yeah, I'm guessing Glock was going to red dice to... He'd, he, read, he tried to red dice someone, but he got foul parents. Uh, probably the beast, yeah. Yeah, yeah beast. Well. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> well, there you go. Commiserations to Yak, but I mean, he doesn't really deserve any because he just, he's just built a <laughs> he's just built a min max underworld team to abuse ladder. So you know, he he got that, and then he got dumped out in the first round of the cup. So there you go. <laughs> Completely deserved loss. <laughs> Yak, <laughs> but he was he was very very unlucky, wasn't he? Um, and congrats to Alicius who did you know mostly the right things, and uh, there you go. But you know, slight slight thing of blitzing with the wrong guy and <laughs> taking the board down, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. It <laughs> happens just, to us all. Just a minor issue. <laughs> Thank you very much, Muffet, for coming in. I'll, no problem. Uh, joining. I just don't know why I said hello then. I was <laughs> hello. I just wanted to go hello with your little character in the corner. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>